Martini here on Main Street, USA, specifically Cushing, Oklahoma, home to super friendly Midwesterners and wide open landscapes. But simmering just below the surface here is a battle between David and Goliath that threatens to break this community apart, literally. As you walk through this quaint town of less than 8,000, there's damage everywhere you look. Earthquakes are threatening to shake this place into a pile of rubble. And locals like David Reed are feeling the effects. About four years ago, we started getting some shakes. They began to start being a little more severe. Mm -hmm. And they were beginning to damage my property. There's a crack that starts about right here, and you can see it going up, and this is an earthquake crack. How much did it cost you to clean all this up? We've got 40,000 in, in the cleanup so far, but I don't have any earthquake insurance. When we bought the building, this wasn't an earthquake town. They had earthquakes in California. In the past, Oklahoma typically got just one to three earthquakes a year. But between 2009 and 2015, that number surged to a staggering one to three earthquakes each day. What was the conversation like in town around these smaller earthquakes? Did you talk about it with your neighbors? And we really stayed pretty quiet about, about the whole thing. That was kind of the posture everybody was in until the big one. Breaking news this morning on World News Now, an earthquake rattles to the heartland. The 5.0 magnitude quake caused damage to buildings and leveled homes. And there have been 19 earthquakes reported in Oklahoma in the past week. According to one estimate, the quakes have caused over $100 million in property damage. And if they get another big one, it could cost far more than money. If we get another 5.0, that building right there is coming to the ground. There's no doubt about it. What is that building? It's a low-income and elderly housing over there. There are senior citizens living in this building that is not earthquake safe. I wouldn't walk in the front door of that building today. I, would, I wouldn't go in there. I don't, I, Why not? I don't think it's safe. Every building in the downtown area has been compromised, every single one of them. By 2013, researchers had discovered that the cause of the boom in earthquakes was man-made. In fact, it was the very engine that drives the Oklahoma state economy oil and gas. Specifically, a process related to oil and gas extraction. The problem is caused by the disposal of wastewater, what the industry calls produced water. You see, for every barrel of oil extracted from the ground, oil wells also get about 10 to 15 barrels of toxic water. To dispose of it cheaply, the oil companies inject the salt water deep into the ground and all that pressure on the fault lines triggered the surge of earthquakes. The people in the oil production business caused innocent people to be damaged. That's not all right. You can't continue doing that. Something's gotta change. Despite learning about the oil and gas industry connection, the government didn't act for two years. In 2015, they imposed regulation, a 40% reduction in disposal volumes. Michael Teague is the state official charged with bringing down the number of earthquakes. He said, everybody in this area has to reduce their wells by X percent. Was there pushback on that? For very few companies. As we've reduced the volume in those disposal wells, thank goodness the earthquakes have come down fairly quickly right behind that. 2016 was 623. Last year was 304. And we're probably on track to be around 200 this year. That's like... 20 times more than you want. That's exactly right. If our background is a dozen, 200 is still too many. Critics say the state is protecting the interests of the industry over the welfare of residents. Others argue oil and gas extraction is vital for jobs and taxes and should be protected. The industry supports one in five jobs and brings in nearly $18 billion in annual revenue. But none of that money is being used to help residents pay for the damage, and hardly anyone has earthquake coverage. I lost probably $35,000 on this, just getting things done immediately, you know, to- $35,000. 